What's up guys, Victor here and in today's video I'm going to show you a really quick tip on how to identify the difference between three mackerel species we have here in Florida and I know a lot of people get them confused and it's the kingfish or otherwise known as the king mackerel, the zero mackerel and the Spanish mackerel. Okay so you're going to look for two things when you're trying to distinguish these three types of mackerel species. First things first, starting with the kingfish you're going to look at its dorsal fin. Kingfish have a gray, gray dorsal fin. You will never see a black dorsal fin on a kingfish, okay? Now look at the Ciro mackerel. The Ciro mackerel has a black dorsal fin as well as the Spanish mackerel has a dor black dorsal fin, okay? Now the second thing you're gonna look at is look at the lateral line. This is the king mackerel or the kingfish's lateral line. You see around mid body it has a really sharp dip in the lateral line, but for the Ciro, you barely have a dip in the lateral line, as well as the Spanish mackerel, you barely have a dip in the lateral line. Some other things to look for. For the kingfish, a lot of people think that kingfish don't have spots, which is not true. If you look and focus in on the camera, you can see those little distinct spots right there. Especially when you first catch them and they're alive, they come up really light, lit up, but the spots are pretty dull. They're like almost a goldish, brownish color. They're not so yellow like in a Spanish. Okay, so especially those juvenile kings, if you guys are catching juvenile kings off the pier, they will have spots on them. But look at the lateral line and the gray dorsal fin. So now, here's how to tell the difference between a Spanish mackerel and a Sierra mackerel. They both have that black dorsal fin, like I showed you. But if you look at the lateral lines on the Sierra mackerel, you're gonna see one long yellow to goldish stripe running along it. And instead of spots, it almost looks like they have bars running, running alongside their body. And it's more of a yellow color than the Spanish. Now if you look at the Spanish mackerel right over here, he's gonna have really pronounced like actual dots, pretty thick diameter dots and they're gonna be yellow goldish in color, okay? And Ciro's and Spanish both have this kind of like greenish tint to them on their backsides along here. Kingfish are gonna be a lot more grayer in color, that's another way to tell the difference between these three. So hopefully I can help you guys from getting either a ticket or just become more knowledgeable because you'd be surprised at how many people don't know the difference between these three types of mackerel. And if you guys look at the peer video that we shot, a lot of people commented below saying that we thought we were catching Spanish when we actually were catching juvenile kings and we knew that we were catching juvenile kings, but people did not want to believe it. So now you have the difference, you have the proof in the pudding. This is the result of two days of fishing of me and Brooke and we went offshore and we caught three different species of mackerel, which is in another video, which will be right over here if you click on it. If you guys wanna see us actually catching them, it's gonna be right here, and this is a separate video in itself. So I hope this helped you guys. Until the next one, guys, peace.